mother mums before we start the video please be safe keep safe keep the children safe please ensure that you are washing your hands regularly and that you are doing everything possible to keep your families safe on to the video now let's enjoy this week's video now like subscribe and share the video i've got the little one with me today so let's get the ball rolling before she gets all excited <laughs> how did parenting change me let's get to the topic I'm going to talk about it based on how each child has changed me okay so we start with um before kids i was very vivacious i was ten i was tenacious i was outgoing i was full of life i i was adventurous i hated being in the same place for a long long time um my parents they were worried about me a lot <laughs> i never thought i would be a mom number one i never thought that i would even get married those when you have a baby the doctors take her out or him out and they give their child to you straight away and you bond that's when that parental connection is made i didn't make that with my first child in the first few weeks i didn't feel like i deserved to be called a mom and hear me out number one i had just had the most painful form of birth it's not what i wanted so i felt like Having a baby through C-section was wrong. I was angry at the fact that I had a C-section. I was withdrawal from the baby made it difficult for me to bond with her. In the very, found it very difficult to build a relationship with her at that time, at that stage, because I was dealing with all that emotions inside of me. Eventually, she what she wormed her head into my heart. And we bonded so well, we became friends. And over the years, I realized something. My first daughter is resilient, full of life. She doesn't give up. So I'll give you an example. In school, she was struggling to, to learn how to read. I pushed her so much, like every parent does. We push our kids so much. I pushed her, I put her into extra classes, I put her into extra activities, I pushed her and I pushed her. And she never gave up. At one point I thought, okay, if somebody's pushing me this much, for me as an adult or as a person, I would have told the person to, but she never complained, she never argued, she never said anything, she just got on with it. Like a pro. That girl, she, is incredible she inspires me to a point where i was jealous of her I'm not jealous of her that she's beautiful or she's better than me i was jealous of her because i didn't i'm not like that <laughs> and in as much as i see her and i feel like oh oh this girl she pushes me to become better she drives me to become a better person now that being said she's very quiet and she's very shy my daughter taught herself gymnastics she will pick it up from wherever she will watch it the next day boom she's doing it how does she do it she is creative she is intellectual she is an amazing person and she teaches me all these things like qualities i didn't know i had and i see it in her and i go i pick things from her and i make it look like it's mine <laughs> but it's hers and she's the one teaching me yeah. 
parenting. My son, on the other hand, is an extrovert. He is loud. He's a talkative. He will talk if he had the chance for 24 hours, seven days a week. I love my son more when he's asleep because he stops talking. <laughs> that boy has taught me love, unconditional love. What love means, what it means to receive love, what it means to give love, what it means to be loved. My son taught me that. After Thank you for watching this video. As we've come to the end of it, please don't forget to like and share and tell a friend to tell a friend about this channel. I'm grateful you joined me today. Hopefully out of you as a Marvel mom. Bye. Sorry, I'm not sure